Auburn Athletic Director Alan Green decided to resign. I guess you could say resign. Just last week, before the weekend hit, of course, I think the news broke on Friday afternoon, uh, right about the time that Paul Feinbaum was going on the air. And it, it was not overly surprising. Everybody had kind of been hinting towards this for at least the last year. You know, Alan Green did get that deal done with Bruce Pearl back in February, sometime around there, whatever it was. Uh, but we'll go on and pull it up on the screen here. Uh, Feinbaum explains this rather well. He said, as somebody who has criticized Auburn a lot over the years, this was the right and necessary move. This was something that was a setup that states the obvious that most people at Auburn don't think Brian Harson is going to make it. I'm talking administration-wise, and when that happens, why stay with a lame duck athletic director who clearly has looked for other jobs? Go ahead and get rid of him. Here's the truth of the matter. Alan Green hired a football coach that the boosters did not want him to hire. He made what he thought was the best decision, and there were different factions of boosters that were fighting about this, right? Some of them, I believe, still wanted Kevin Steele. Some wanted to go another direction. Nobody wanted to go Brian Harson. So Alan Green's decision on a coaching hire was to bring in somebody that none of the higher-ups wanted. Now, was it a good decision football-wise? Probably. If you had not saddled him with uh, Mike Bobo, uh, with Derek Mason, which Derek Mason was their saving grace last year, really. But if you had let him do it his way from the very beginning, maybe last year would have had a different outcome. I mean, who knows? Obviously, if, if Bo Nix didn't get hurt, who knows what ends up happening. Regardless, uh, I do think that this was it was the writing on the wall. You were not going to extend him, so you continue on and you know go from there. So I think that that's probably... The right decision, but man, you want to talk about some crazy stuff. Uh, the Let's go on and pull up the tweets here. Former Duke AD Kevin White released a statement that, uh, that said, For what it's worth, the announcement via Auburn University today is terribly disturbing, to say the very least, perhaps closer to utterly shameful. The apparent political dysfunction within Auburn is truly legendary. <laughs> More specifically, this particular leadership transition unequivocally ascends Auburn to the catbird seat in terms of being tone deaf nationally, which I'm assuming he's discussing uh, the fact that Alan Green is an African American. Um, but who knows? Uh, he said, of course, Alan and Christy Green and their beautiful family will undoubtedly take the high road, for Alan is among the classiest and most talented individuals in terms of emotional, intellectual, and decency. Uh, competence who drips with integrity while standing on a non-negotiable, high moral and ethical platform. Allen is clearly a rock star leader within the broader college athletics landscape. Therefore, this is clearly a death blow moment as the greater enterprise of college athletics swirls via unprecedented chaos. Okay, so so let's let's look at this. Um, he worked with uh, Alan Green worked with Danny White who is the new AD at Tennessee. Kevin White is his dad. So Alan Green is pretty tied into that family. Uh, he worked with Danny White at Ole Miss when all of the NCAA stuff was going on way back when, right? Uh, the Hugh Freeze whatever mess. So uh, he, Alan Green went as the deputy AD or whatever you want to call it, the associate AD, under Danny White at Buffalo, and then Alan Green was the AD at Buffalo for a couple of years before he came down to Auburn. Auburn thought that they were getting a guy that was just going to do what they told him to do. That's what they've been looking for in an AD for a very, very long time. Uh, Danny White, of course, tweeted, Congratulations, A. Green 4, for getting the heck out of a crazy situation for greener pastures. I admire how you manage that chaos with class and integrity. Looking forward to seeing your next chapter. Uh, this, again, this all had to come from stuff that Alan Green has told them. This is not a surprise that Auburn is chaotic and on fire all the time. <laughs> if anybody wants to read something interesting, uh, go and Google as the planes burn. I mean, just saying, it, it's been going on at Auburn for a very, very long time. Everybody understands this is how it works, and Auburn is perfectly fine with it. They want somebody that's going to do what they tell them to do. Remember, this is the same program 
that went and hired Gene Chizik as their head coach. Gene Chizik was formerly a defensive coordinator at Auburn. He then went to Texas. He then became the Iowa State head coach and went 5-19 and in two years. And it's not like they were tracking the right direction. They went 3-9 and in his first season and then 2-10 and the next year. And then he was hired as Auburn's head coach and they won a national championship with him. All right, so everybody understands what the situation is. You know, Alan Green knew what he was doing when he decided to go against the people that brought him in. It is what it is. His contract expires in January, and, you know, he was not going to be renewed. So you get out, you find, you you seek professional opportunities elsewhere while you can. I don't blame him for that at all, and... And the Auburn situation, I don't think, is nearly as crazy as what Kevin and Danny White are saying. I think it's just set up differently at Auburn. You know, there's no reason for them to hear a sitting AD, especially the sitting AD at Tennessee with all the mess that's been going on over there. And I know that he's new to Knoxville. I know that he's new to the farm. But for them to come out and talk about all this publicly is kind of an embarrassment, really. Like, yeah, maybe somebody needs to say something at some point. But it's not like Alan Green didn't know what he was doing. So I, I'm not looking at this as, you know, an Auburn is ridiculous thing because Auburn's always been ridiculous. But they are okay with being ridiculous because every five to seven years or whatever it is, they are going to come up and have a championship-winning football program and they'll be happy with it, right? They, if you don't do that, you'll end up like Gus Malzahn on the way out of town. So... So we'll see what ends up happening after Alan Green leaves and and what happens with Harson this football season. But there is no safety net for Brian Harson now. I mean, this thing, there is nobody that's going to be in his corner. So you better start winning. You better come out game one and let this thing roll for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE and the show is at Winning Cures be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show